Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. It's 85 degrees outside, but I'm wearing a sweater, but I'm in the fall mood. It's about to be September in a few days. Starbucks just came out with all of their fall drinks. And I don't know, I'm just not a pumpkin spice girl. I've tried it one time. I just didn't really like it. When I was younger, I just like refused to eat like pumpkin pie or anything like pumpkin flavored. And I just got it in my head that I didn't like it, but I love chai. So I feel like I could potentially love it. So I want to try a fall drink. We're going to go to Target and buy a bunch of fall decor. In a video or two ago, I moved out of my apartment and I just moved to Cincinnati because my boyfriend is going to be doing a like school training thing for the next three months. So I'll be here for the next three months and then I'll be moving into a new place. I was going to do a move-in vlog, but we're staying in an Airbnb and I just, there wasn't much to show. It was just me bringing in a couple bags of clothes. So I do need to resist buying a ton of fall decor because the whole place is furnished. Like I am going to be here for three months. I don't really want to lug back a ton of decor, but also I want to go and fill up a big cart of home decor and big pillows and vases and just all the pumpkins. But I really need to have some self -control. Control, but not too much okay I want to go have fun it's fun to do things like this so I'm gonna let myself do a little bit we're gonna go do that I'm so excited I'm just feeling the fall vibes today I'm literally sweating so bad though like I'm telling myself feel the fall vibes like in this big sweater I'll be inside in a second though so it'll be okay but yeah let's do it yay popping in here to say thank you to oak essentials for sponsoring this video you guys already know i'm obsessed with their skincare i've been using it for about six months now their best-selling bundle is filled with just foundational skincare essentials they take a really simple approach if you're having issues with your skin i think you need to reevaluate how many products you're using make sure they're all working correctly together so that's why i like this five-step skincare routine there's also a mask that can't fit in my hand these products are all filled with just top-notch ingredients that drive real results for your skin. Like I said, I've been using Oak Essentials for about six months now. So I started last spring and I have such dry skin, you guys. Like there are some days where I couldn't even wear makeup. And on the days where I had to, I was just like a flaky, scaly, reptile looking mess. But since I started using these products, this is their ritual oil, by the way, that just is really soothing for sensitive skin and it clarifies tone and texture. But since I started using these products, my skin is so hydrated and moisturized. It was so rare where I would wake up in the morning and have like hydrated feeling skin and I'm not talking greasy I just mean soft and hydrated like baby soft skin and that is literally what I get every morning now that I started using these products my skin is never dry anymore I'm just absolutely obsessed also I already washed my face with the cleansing balm this is amazing it cleans your face without stripping it of those oils and leaving you feeling super dry and cracked love this I have to tell my boyfriend like don't touch do not touch my cleansing balm and with the fall coming up I'm so excited but that also means we're getting into the colder months and usually I am just sad because I know that I'm not gonna have great skin until the next spring or summer and I'm just so happy that I found these products because this is just a clean skincare line that is filled with ingredients that actually work and I've talked about it before but with TikTok there's just so many products what actually works what's actually filled with good ingredients what's actually filled with bad ingredients that you shouldn't be using that's viral there's just so much information it's hard to know where to start so that's why I love their five-step skincare routine finish off the skincare with the balancing mist this is filled with antioxidants you guys know I work from home and I literally keep this on my desk and just spray my face throughout the day for a little bit of hydration I need this in a travel size I honestly need all these products in a travel size but especially this balancing mist I just want to throw it in my purse I tell everyone about these products and we are keeping our skin hydrated dewy and glowy this fall and winter my followers can get 15% off their first order when you use my code brookditis at checkout that's 15 15% off your first order at O-A-K-E-S-S-E-N-T-I-A-L-S.com with my promo code BrookeDitis. Whether you're trying to build your skincare routine from scratch or trying to fill in the gaps, Oak Essentials is perfect for you. Treat yourself. You deserve it. The next day now, 
I got some stuff. Even though that Target was so overpicked, there was barely anything fall. I had to like really scrape the bottom of the barrel to get some things. It's not even September 1st. I also think we must live near like a college campus or something because it was like crawling with college students and they were all shopping for back to school. But I wanna show you guys some things that I got first. These were on a little end cap. They're Tree Hut limited edition for fall, I believe. This is the iced coffee Shea Sugar scrub it literally smells just like a coffee shop I'm obsessed so excited to use this I use this tree hut sugar scrub one of these every single time that I'm in the shower I think I have like the pink Moroccan one right now and then I got I've never used their body wash before but this is the cinnamon dolce scent I actually didn't even smell it when I was in there I just was excited oh my Oh my God, it smells like Cinnabon Delights from Taco Bell. I guess this doesn't smell like Cinnabon Delights. It just smells really cinnamony, like baking snickerdoodles or something. You have to smell this. I'm so excited to use this tonight. Then for the fall things that I picked up, first I got this pumpkin candle. It smells so good and it's gonna be so cute on the coffee table. This is Target's Vanilla Pumpkin scent. I think this is a Threshold, yeah, Threshold brand. And it actually smells exactly like the Cinnamon Spiced Vanilla Candle from Bath & Body Works. So I had to get it because I really wanna light this. I got it like a week or two ago, and I haven't lit it because I'm just, I'm not gonna buy another Bath & Body Works candle this season because they're so expensive. So I've been just like savoring it and not wanting to light it yet. It's not even September, but now that I know Target's vanilla pumpkin scent smells just like it, I'm gonna light this bad boy tonight. Then I got two vases and some like greenery leaves to put in. I actually took off this one from this bigger bunch and just put it in here. This is just like a cute little brown one and then I thought it would look nice next to this like bigger one and just like that. And then in these, so they look like this right now, but I bought this that I really like. I don't even know what this is called. Bunny tails. That's so cute. I'm gonna cut these up and put them in the vase. That's my little fall Target haul. Kind of a bust, but is it kind of a blessing in disguise? Because I said before I walked in there, I needed to have some self-control and this seems like some pretty good self-control to me. So now let's go look at all the fall books that I bought that are on my TBR for the next two, three months. I forgot to show you. I didn't end up getting a Starbucks drink yesterday, obviously. So I got the pumpkin spice latte Starbucks coffee creamer. I'm sure it's not the same, but you know, I still get to try some pumpkin flavor. So I'm gonna try this out, but it's like 5.30 right now and I will not be drinking a coffee. So I'm gonna post this on my TikTok and my Instagram story, trying it and see if I like it. So go follow me on there. Then I also got the Calafia oat creamer and this is cinnamon roll flavored. I'm so excited. Excited. Oh, I just know I'm gonna love this. I wonder if it's limited edition. I hope not because I think I'm gonna be obsessed. And that's all. Okay, book haul. Okay, I have so many books. I've been collecting books for the past. Honestly, no, like I did a really big Amazon order because I kept seeing TikToks like two or three weeks ago that were like, you need to read these books in the fall. And then I just started watching a ton and going in my Amazon cart and putting them in there. And before I knew it, I had 10 books in there. And then when I was at Target yesterday, I ended up buying another book. So I think I have 11 books here and they're all kind of fall, autumn, cozy, spooky vibes. So I'll show you guys each one. Let's do it. Ouch. <laughs> oh my God, it's my nail. Something just dug into my foot. And I was like, what is that? Like I wasn't eating chips or anything. It's like my literal nail. On another note though, I love these press-ons. The Sally Hansen real short are the best. Great. Once one goes, you just know like they're all about to start popping off. Anyways, the first book that I have on here is The Secret History. All those fall TikToks I was seeing, everybody was saying that they were either gonna read this this fall or a lot of people were saying that they're re-reading it this fall. It's supposed to be like a psychological fiction, dark academia. I don't even know what dark academia means, but I think it's a genre. And thank you to a guy named Taylor on TikTok for this 
little synopsis of this book because I was trying to give like find a blurb to give you guys and basically this book is filled with like paranoia and discomfort. The narrator has just gotten into Hampton College and he wants to be a part of like an exclusive group with all part of like the smartest students on campus and they all study ancient Greek mythology with this professor who's very like mysterious and selective and by the first sentence in the book you know that one of the people a part of this group die and I think it's because like the other people in the group conspire to do this but it's supposed to be just like very unsettling like kind of about like fitting in with a group who all has their own like inside jokes and they all know each other and all their little secrets and I heard that it's supposed to be like misleading you the whole time you're trying to connect the dots of course while you're reading and it's basically like misleading you the whole time and essentially these perfect very smart kids are their personalities and their characters are unveiled and a lot of messed up things happen and everyone says that this book sticks with them and is just crazy so I'm very excited to read this I read like one thing that said it was disturbing and I just finished reading A Little Life and that book was very disturbing and unsettling and hard to read so I don't know if I'm gonna jump into this one just yet I think I might give it a few weeks but I am really excited to read this one then I have The Midnight Library by Matt Haig and this one is supposed to be about this woman named Nora who's in her mid-30s and she's very depressed and on the day that she actually decides to unalive herself she finds herself in a library that's filled with all the other lives that she could have lived and she basically just discovers that there's a lot more to life even than her current one that more than she could even imagine so I'm really excited to read this one I love that idea of I don't know I'm really excited to read this one I think that's such a cool concept and I might even read this one first I'm so excited about it I have two thrillers Never Lie by Frida McFadden and Local Woman Missing super excited to read these it's been a minute since I read a thriller then I have The Lost Apothecary by Sarah Penner and this is supposed to be a historical historical fiction and I think like a mystery but I've never actually read historical fiction I don't think the little blurb I found for this one is that it says a secret apothecary shop caters to an unusual kind of clientele women across the city whisper of a mysterious figure named Nella who sells well-disguised poisons to use against the oppressive men in their lives sounds interesting I heard good things on TikTok of course next I have the X hex and the kiss curse this is a series this is the first book. These are both romance novels that are supposed to be kind of funny and they actually have a little bit of spice but just like witchy Halloween vibes. Tis the season. This was the book that I picked up yesterday when I was at Target and it's not really Halloween or fall themed and I'd already bought all these books so I was really resisting. I was trying to get myself not to buy it but I justified it by it says that this is about a theoretical physicist. She's a professor I believe and so I was like oh back to school vibes I justified it that way so I don't know I heard good things about this one I don't know if it's this one or love hypothesis that people like more but one of them people like rave about either way it's been a minute since I've read like a full-on like romance novel so hopefully this one's good and then lastly I have before your memory fades and before the coffee gets cold so this is the first book in a three-part series this is the third book I actually accidentally read the second book Book in July not knowing that this was a series and I just absolutely loved it so I'm excited that it is a series and that I can read it and also that it doesn't necessarily matter what order you read them in but I'm really excited to read these because there's a fourth book in the series coming out in November I believe and these books are basically just like coffee shop cozy vibes it's about a cafe or a coffee shop in Tokyo that allows their customers to go travel back in time as long as they come back before the cup of coffee they have goes cold. I'm so excited to read these. I rated the first one that I read, which is the second book, five stars. These books have like every emotion in them. I like want to recommend them already, but we'll have to wait and see. I just went to go hold up all the books again and they fell in my lap. So that's my fall TBR. I'm so excited. If you've read any of these books, let me know in the comments or DM me on Instagram and we can chat about them. Or if you want to read any of these with me, go pick some up.
up. Let me know when you read them. Maybe we can even read some of these together. I'm so excited for fall. I can't believe summer's basically over. It feels like it was two seconds long, but thankfully I have a good feeling about this fall. I'm just excited. I'm excited for it to cool down a bit and for all the cozy fall vibes. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss my next one and go follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Goodreads, all the things. I'll link all of these books down in the description box. I love you and I'll see you guys in my next video. Happy fall!